School Rules. Robert Munch, illustrated by Dave Walmond. On Friday, when the bell rang and school was gone, Cassandra hid underneath her desk and did not go home, even when all the kids got dressed and left. She did not go home even after the teacher ran out to get to the bank before it closed. Cassandra hid underneath her desk and did not go home. When his janitor, with the tattoos on his arm, mop tattoos on his arm, mop the floor. Cassandra hid underneath her desk. And did not go home even when the slightly scary principal turned off all the lights and locked the front door. Then Cassandra finally got out from underneath her desk, turned on the lights. And pulled out all her favorite stuff. When it was time for dinner, Cassandra's father said to her, "Mother, where is Cassandra?" "I don't know," said the mother. "I haven't seen her. I thought she was with you." So they ran around and yelled and screamed and hollowed and called Cassandra grandmother and all the neighbors. Then they called the police, the fire department, and the hospital. Finally, Cassandra's father walked over the to the school and saw the light on. In her classroom, he banged on the window until Cassandra opened it. He yelled, "We thought you were lost. We thought you were kidnapped. What are you doing, staying here in school?" I like school," said Cassandra. "I don't care if you like it," said her father. "You can't stay at school. You have to come home sometime." But I like school," said Cassandra. "This is nuts," said her father. He jumped through the window, picked up Cassandra, and carried her back home. The next day was a Saturday. Her father said, "You can't go to school." Her mother said, "You can't not go to school." Cassandra said, "But I like school." Her mother and father both yelled, "You can't go to school. There is no school today." But Cassandra got on her bicycle and rode over the school anyway. She knocked on the door, but nobody answered. She tried to try the window, but it was shut up tight. So Cassandra got back. On her bicycle and rode down the street until she came to everything store. She walked inside and said, "I want to buy a school." What sort of school? 
said the lady behind the counter. "I want a school with dirty red bricks, a slightly scary tempers principal, a nice teacher, and a janitor with two twos, tattoos on his arm," said Cassandra. "Oh," said the lady, "we have lots of those. Where do you want to send it?" "Send it," said Cassandra. To my backyard. This, this, this woman's not very happy looking at it. <laughs> the next day was Sunday. Cassandra's mom, mother, and father got up and went downstairs. They looked out the window and saw a school with thirty red bricks setting in. Their yard backyard. There was a janitor out front cleaning the windows. Her father looked at her mother, and her mother looked at the father, and they both yelled, "Cassandra!" Cassandra came running downstairs and said. My school! It came. This is wonderful. She ran out the back door, said hi to the janitor, was scolded by the principal for being late. I went into the classroom with the night、nice、teacher, and at recess she told all of her friends how to buy a school of their own. The end.